Hey beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Reb Sokobo and you are so so welcome. If this is your first time tuning in on this channel, thank you so very much for clicking on this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so very much for coming back again. So beautiful ladies, today I will be discussing about something that is very very important when you are taking a skincare journey. Uh, this particular um, topic is, um, I think it has been downrated a lot and is something that we actually need. So, um, this channel is all about skincare tips, skincare tricks, everything you need to learn about skincare. And yes, I am going to be sharing with you a lot of skincare recipes that you can use uh, for your skin. Okay. So Uh, the topic for today is a uh, scrub. Yes, I am a strong believer of scrub. I believe without scrubbing, uh, the other products cannot be effective on your skin. Okay, so uh, this particular scrub is the Ishira Whitening Scrub, guys. This particular scrub, yes, is very good for people with stubborn skin. So if you are one with stubborn skin that you, your creams do not work on your skin, soaps do not work on your skin, with this particular Ishira scrub, uh, you are going to be having uh, a very very good result at the end of the day okay and this particular Ishara scrub I will share with you guys does not have so many uh, ingredients that you'll be using for this recipe so do not worry uh, it will not cost you so much okay it will not cost you so much all right so guys if you want to see how I make this particular scrub what are you waiting for kindly hit that subscribe button like this video share this video turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video guys so without wasting much of your time let's jump right into the video okay guys so I have I've written here all the things we need for this particular issue scrub uh, so I will be listing them out so you can get them and use them so but before we continue like I always say we have all this in uh, wholesale prices uh, so you can definitely get from us uh, we sell in both large badge and uh, smaller badge okay so just uh, Contact me with my number on the screen 08121577080 and we will get your order delivered to you wherever you are. Okay, so moving on to the next thing, like I said, we're going to be talking about the Ishira Whitening Scrub. Uh, the first thing on my list is the base, and the base we'll be using is brown sugar. Yeah, I, I know that uh, some people who okay, want to decide to use white sugar, but if you are going to be using white sugar, uh, make sure that that white sugar you're using is uh, suitable for your skin, okay? But it will be uh, best and safe to go with uh, brown sugar, and we are going to be using 1 kg of brown sugar. Now, brown sugar contains glycolic acid. It, in fact, it is glycolic acid, okay? So, and it is very, very good, especially when you want to exfoliate your skin. Because this is a scrub, we are going to be using this brown uh, sugar, okay? And we're going to be using 1 kg of brown sugar. Moving on to the next thing, we also have neem powder. Okay, we know that neem powder is very, very good. It contains a lot of antioxidants, very good for uh, removing of acne and dark spots and all those stuff. Uh, so we are going to be using this neem powder, 50 gram. Okay, moving on to the next thing, we are going to be using a humectant and this humectant we are going to be using is honey and we are going to be using uh, 80, 80 um, grams of uh, honey, okay, we are going to be using 80. Make sure you have a scale uh, beside you because you are going to be using a scale to do the measurements, okay. You know, using the skill to for this particular uh, recipe. Okay, moving on to the end. next thing, we also have Epsom salts. Uh, Epsom salt. Okay, so and we are going to be using one kg of that. Right, we're going to be using one kg of that. Now, moving on to the next thing, we also have soap oil. We have soap oil. <laughs> And this soap oil, we're going to be using 250 ml, okay? Soap oil, we'll be using 250 ml. Now, moving on to the next thing, we also have Shenik Perfect Legs. Now, um, Shenik Perfect Legs is not just for um, removing of green veins, okay? It is very, very good for your skin, guys. This will help to protect your skin from any damages at all that might occur. So, but I know a lot of people not know this um, that you can use Shenik oil or Shenik perfect legs in your uh, scrub but uh, we will be using this Shenik uh, perfect legs and we will be using one piece okay so moving on to the next thing we also have the green whitening balls guys 
uh, green whitening balls is good so we are going to be using one nylon of that uh, the next thing on my list is sandalwood powder guys sandalwood powder now sandalwood powder is a very very good uh, botanical powder that you should always have in your product this particular uh, sandalwood powder is very very good uh, for the skin so and we will be using 150 gram of that powder now last but certainly not the least is our soap activator guys the soap activator and we are going to be using 500 ml of soap activator um, with these things I have listed guys, your Ishiba scrub is going to be super super uh, effective and very good, okay? So please do not use this Ishiba scrub on your face, it is not a face scrub, it is just a body scrub, okay? It is a body scrub and it's going to so glow you. The reason why I used uh, this uh, soap oil was because uh, the soap oil has a bit of foamy, uh, um, a bit of soapy kind of foamy uh, effects on the skin so you can actually use just the scrub without using soap and it will still give you an effective result guys and this particular Ishura scrub can be used even without uh, soap okay and it will lighten you so very well it will lighten you very well okay so guys this is all about this particular uh, particular Ishura scrub all you just need to do is uh, make sure you Turn everything in, starting with your base. Don't forget, starting with your base. Turn everything in and blend very well. Make sure you are using your spatula to mix everything very well. If I were you, uh, the best way to go is to turn all the liquids that you're going to be using for this recipe together and then pour in your base before you go in with your... Um, before you pour in those liquids okay pour in all the powders mix them together before you pour in all the liquids okay so with that you can just turn very well please take note that after some days it might become a bit uh watery than before so uh, you need to be very careful not to go overboard with your measurements make sure that those things are the, the way i have listed them is the way you uh put them okay so you don't go overboard and make it too watery all right because after some days it's definitely going to be a bit uh, watery so guys this is all i have for you today if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel what are you waiting for kindly hit the subscribe button just by your right like this video share this video turn on your notification bell so you will be notified whenever i post a new video guys so uh if you have any questions kindly comment in the comment section i would definitely reply you uh my number is on the screen so you can definitely chat me up and i will reply you so thank you so very much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye for now